What is a live programming environment? In this short video, I'll try to demonstrate that in five minutes or less. So we're going to start with an application, the simplest possible application you can imagine, the classic counter. And if you run this application, whose code is right here, then you get a very, very simple counter, right? You can increment the counter, you can decrement the counter, you can reset it, and so on. And so uh, that's good and well, but that doesn't tell you anything about liveness as such. But if we were to go and find the code that actually controls this counter, then we'll see that the essence of it is here. There's a definition which says the counter displays a row. And uh, basically there's an increment button, a decrement button, and a reset button. So let's suppose we want to change that. Let's say that reset isn't terribly clear. Reset to what? Let's say that we wanted to say explicitly set to zero. And let's add a button as well, just to, to make things more interesting. We'll add a button right here, which will say, uh, we'll say that it doubles the counter. And so we'll change that code here. And the code is, is very elementary essentially subject if you don't know the new speak programming environment which i'm sure you don't then uh, you can think of subject as a model you ask it for its count and you set it to do different things the increment sends it to count plus one the decrement count minus one and the double will double it and so forth so once we accept that the core point here is if we go back to our counter then the changes have taken place right the double button is there the reset button is now set to zero and this is the same running counter this isn't that we restarted the app however simple it is and and went from there no this is the app where it was with the state of three that's the crucial point that we preserve all the context and everything when we do this change and it still works of course right uh, and the new button works and the reset button works and so forth so this is one aspect of live programming, that is that we can change things and see the effect immediately in the running application. Uh, another very simple uh, criterion that we should apply here is that we should be able to change the live programming environment within itself. So if we actually look here at something like workspaces, uh, we'll find that we have an object presenter here and an instance of it, and we can look at its code class right here. And this is a demo I've done before, but it wasn't quite as live in, in previous instances. So what we're going to do here, we're going to say something like, change the color and accept that. And we have changed the color, right? We haven't changed the color of everything. We've changed the color of object presenters, which are the thing that actually control the presentation of the object and it's taken effect, and its effect is everywhere, right? In other objects as well. And we can go change it back again to what it was. And there we are, and everything's back to normal, right? And that, in the shortest possible time, is demonstrating key aspects of a live programming system. And to have this, you need this ability to change methods on the fly in the running program, as we've done here, uh, both in the example with the, with the counter and here in the programming environment. And it really helps that all other components in the system are as reactive as possible. So having a reactive UI means that we get the liveness to take effect immediately and we don't have to restart a window or refresh it or do any such thing, which is what distinguishes this from some other uh, older small talky systems, for example. So there, uh, hopefully it was worth three minutes of your time and uh, we'll have further demonstrations coming soon.